Today, we're going to work on the beginnings of a lo-fi track, exploring chords, sounds, and effects. We'll be sourcing our sounds from Reason Plus and the Neo Soul Pack by Sean Murray in particular. Our first sound is aptly named Lo-Fi Piano. This patch uses the Radical Piano as its main instrument. If we take a closer look, we can see that it's set to emulate an upright piano. It's mic placement set to jazz and character subdued. But the lo-fi sound mainly comes together with the use of two audiomatic retro transformers, providing grain, warp, and further attenuation on the high end. So we have our sound. Now let's build a chord progression. Lo-fi is built around jazz, and jazz uses a ton of 2-5-1 chord progressions. So it's a great place to start. In the key of C, we'll start on the four. F, and then play our 2-5-1 movement. D, 2, G, 5, C, 1. Now, the chords you play here are up to you, but you'll want to use 7th chords at the very least, as opposed to triad chords. And maybe think about larger extended chords too, like 9ths, 11ths, and 13th. Today we're going to use F major 7, D dominant 9, an inversion of G dominant 7, and then a C major 7. To turn it around and get us back to the beginning of the chord progression, we'll go to the 7, B, and then the 3, E. Our chords for this turnaround, they may change, but for now, let's play a B minor 11, and then an E7. I say this may change as the next step is to add a melody. Building a melody is easy when you have a chord progression, as we can use the notes in and around the chords. In my tutorial about inversions, I talk about inverting your chord so that the melody is on top. The top note tends to be the note we hear the most. So when working in reverse, when I already have a chord progression, I often use the top note to inform my melodies. Notice how I use the notes in and around my chords, often starting with the highest note to form my melody. Okay, so we have our chords and our melody. Let's see what else Sean Murray and Reason Plus has to offer. This next sound is perfect to sit underneath our piano. It almost sounds like vocals when played in a chord. This patch uses the Europa synth as its sound source. And this particular sound that Sean Murray has made uses sine waves, which gives it its round and pure tone. But what I want to bring more attention to is this envelope in particular. This envelope is linked to pitch. So when we press a note, the pitch of that note briefly falls before reverting to the correct pitch. This gives the sound its vocal-like character, almost like a choir singing ooze or someone singing multiple harmonies um, on a record. You know, you hear that in R&B as well, in Neo Soul. Well, this pack was made for Neo Soul, so that stands to reason. But it also makes it a great sound for lo-fi. So what should we do with this sound? Let's play the same 4, 2, 5, 1, 7, 6 chord progression. But here we're free to invert the chords to best fit with the piano. We should also make a point of playing these chords one octave down from where we played our piano for the exact same reasons of clarity. We want to be able to hear both sounds independently. Great, so that's sounding fantastic. Let's add one more sound. This patch uses the Thor synthesizer and again is built using sine waves, giving us that round sound. Or should I say roundish sound? This sound has a grit to it that you can hear at the higher end. But this doesn't come from the oscillators, there's no triangle or sawtooth wave here, 
it comes from the Scream Distortion Unit. Distortion not only gives sounds character, but it can also be used to help make lower end sounds like basses more audible on smaller speakers. Another point of interest and something you may want to try on your own bass sounds is the use of a modulation effect called Chorus. Among other things, this will add some width to your bass sound. Sean's got it set to the Bucket Brigade delay setting and it's linked to Thor's third oscillator. I can't really hear what it's doing, even if I increase the amount, but I'm sure it's there for a reason. Either way, I've added a stock chorus from Logic. There's not much to say here. I'm borrowing the rhythm from the drums and like with my melody, using the notes in and around each chord to form my bass line. But let's quickly talk about where I've sourced my sound. Reason Plus, what is it? Reason Plus is a new subscription service from Reason Studios. The subscription gives you access to the latest versions of both the Reason standalone DAW and Reason Rack plugin. 75 instruments, effects and MIDI players as of recording, plus any new ones developed in the future. New sound packs with patches like the ones I've been using in this video, those are added weekly, and the new Reason Plus companion app to help you manage all of the above. As of recording, Reason Plus costs $19.99 per month or $199 yearly. This is the same price in British pounds and in euros also. £19.99 and €19.99 respectively. Reason 1 to 11 owners get 50% off their first year, making it $99 for the first year, but Reason Intro, Essentials, Adapted and Limited are exempt from this deal. What if you don't want to buy Reason as a subscription? Can you still buy and own it outright? Reason Studios have said you'll still be able to buy a perpetual license which I think is great news for long-time Reason users and maybe those not quite interested in sound packs and with the means to buy Reason outright. You can learn more about Reason Plus via the link in the description below and I've also added a link to the perpetual license should you want to buy Reason outright. Both come with a one month free trial so you have the chance to try it out for yourself and make an educated decision independent of what anyone else thinks. But with that being said, what are your thoughts on the track that I've made? What about the sounds I've used? Reason Plus as a subscription? Let me know down in the comments section below. Three other music makers have made music with this same Neo Soul Pack, which you can once again check out via a link down in the description below. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and of course be sure to subscribe for more high quality music production tutorials like this. I've been Stefan and as always, Happy beat making.